What is the best way to go about preparing for your exam? Mind map Arts features this mind map that is showing us how to get ready for our exams and they are giving some steps that we need to take that can assure us of excellence in our exams. First, we need to actually know the time limits that we have before the exam so that we can plan appropriately, okay? Then, we need to be strategic in our study. We need to know what is in the exam. What content am I supposed to expect in the exam? Then, we need to break down the content of the exam. The one that is appearing in a cooler, we need to know how to break it down so that it doesn't make us unprepared. And after that, we study for the content of the exam. We ask questions, we discuss with friends, and then we don't leave our health. We also take care of our body, and psychologically, we are prepared. Now, you'll be surprised that so many students out there, they are saying they are preparing for an exam, but they don't know the content of the exam. They don't have access to the syllabus, and they are also not making attempts to get that syllabus. Some are making attempts, and sometimes the syllabus may not be readily available. And that is why for the WAEG, West African Senior School Certificate Examination, Day 2 Academy had gone ahead to compile the detailed syllabus for all the subjects of the West African Senior School Certificate Examination, all right? So this is the PDF and it's going to be available for download free of charge. The link for you to download it is included in this video. So you go ahead, download it, and then once you have opened it, you can navigate to whatever subject you are interested in looking at, you can check for all the subjects you'll be offering in your exams. Like in this particular case, you can see from the bookmarks, this is a list of all the subjects that are featured in the detailed syllabus. There's no subject you're offering that is not being included. We have over 100 subjects and you can easily navigate in two formats. Either you go through the bookmarks, okay? Like here, you can go to any of the subjects or just from the table of content, you can also click on whatever subject you are interested in looking at. For example, if you are looking at biology, you can come here. Biology is number 11. They are arranged alphabetically. So you just click on biology. And here, it is taking you to the link of biology, all right? Or um, alternatively, you can just go ahead and say, okay, maybe you are looking for agricultural science. You just click on the bookmark and that will take you to agricultural science. So, for example, let's say you want to look at the detailed syllabus for English. So all you need to do is just navigate to where English language is. So this is English language. And once you click on that, it's going to give you the preamble from WAEG, the aims and objective of this um, subject that WAEG is offering as part of his exams. One of the aims is that they want students to be able to use correct English. You should be able to write about incidents in English. And then, very interestingly, you need to know the scheme of examination that you're about to write. So now, you are being told that in the scheme of the examination, you're going to be offering three papers. Paper 1, Paper 2, and Paper 3, okay? So yeah, looking at um, Paper 1, you can see that we have been told that it will consist of 80 multiple choice questions, all of which should be answered within one hour for 40 marks. So already you know you are going to have 80 questions, objectives, and it's going to carry 40 marks. That is, a question is carrying half a mark, okay? Then in paper two, you'll be writing, you'll be giving some five essay topics and the passage, okay? You're going to write a comprehension. It will test your comprehension and summary skills. You'll be expected to write an essay on one of the topics. Then you answer all the questions on the comprehension and summary passages. This paper will last for two hours and it will take 100 marks. You don't want to joke with this. Paper two is going to take 100 marks, so you don't want to joke with that. Then, paper three will also consist of 60 multiple choice items on test of horrors. So now you have three basic areas that you need to focus on for your exams. You are going to be ask, answering some multiple choice questions. You are going to be writing an essay, write a letter. Then be, you are going to be tested on comprehension. And thirdly, you are going to be tested on test of horror. So already now you have the scheme of examination. You now need to prepare appropriately. And the detailed syllabus will help you to do that. Like here, now, for the country of interest, you are being told that 
Paper 1, particularly for candidates in Gambia, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, and Liberia, these are going to be the features of what will be asked in Paper 1. They are going to be talking about Lexix, okay? They are going to be looking at, under Lexix, we'll be looking at vocabulary associated with various fields of human activity, law, talk about religion, sports, adver advertising, human body systems and co. You are going to be talking about idioms, okay? You are going to be talking about structural elements. You are going to look at figurative usage of words, figurative usage of vocabulary, okay? You are going to be looking at the structure in English language and then that will include patterns of change, patterns in which different categories of words combine to form groups, then the use of structural words like conjunctions, determiners, prepositions, and such like. Now, more detailed for Ghana candidates, you can see they are even separating for which country. So you can go to the one that is suitable for you, pick the particular syllabus that is here among for you, and study appropriately. You don't want to be ignorant of all these facts so that you can prepare best and gain academic excellence in your subject. So after that, we can now go to Paper 2, for all the candidates, you can see that Paper 2 for all the candidates, no matter the country you are coming from, all the candidates, this is expected of you. You are going to be tested on essay writing, and that will take 50 marks, okay? Now, the questions will test your ability to communicate in writing, and it will be tested in the area of writing letters, speech, narration, description, argument or debate, article, exposition, and then... These are what the marks will be awarded for. Why you want to text for your content relevance? You want to check for your organization in preparing your formal features. You want to see how you are able to express yourself and mechanical accuracy, okay? Are you able to use correct grammar, punctuation, spellings, and such like? Now, the, the minimum length of whatever you are writing will be 450 words. Then, compression that will carry 20 marks. See, going through all this, you're already knowing that, okay, okay, this is what is being expected of me. I'm, I'm expected to also be able to summarize, okay, I'll be giving some comprehension. I will need to summarize the core point that I'm able to pick from it. And then in paper three, you are going to be looking at oral English, then the way you pronounce, the way you transcribe vowels, consonants, and, and so on. These are some of the things that... You are expected, and look at this. This is interesting. Now, they are even giving you detailed information on how to actually pronounce all these words. That's why you need to get your hands on this syllabus. I know getting hold of it is quite stressful, it's not readily available, and that is why we have gone out of our way to compile this detailed syllabus for whatever subject you are offering. And so, like that, you can just check for English, and you can see that we've run through the whole of English. If you're offering financial accounting, you can also go through that. Or if you want to go to some other subject, you can just go back to the list of tables, okay? Looking at the list of tables here, the table of content, you can see that here, you can just pick on any of the subjects that is relevant to you, that you want to study as at that time. So... That's all we want you to do. Go ahead, download the PDF, go through it, take it per subject, schedule your time so that you will not be met unprepared. And if you are needing resources for your study, particularly in the STEM subject, that's why Dave Tooth Academy is here, offering resources that will help you gain academic excellence. So if you are here to subscribe, there is a link included in the PDF book too. Is also on our YouTube page. All you just need to do is come here and click on it, and you'll be directed to our web page here where you can actually click on the subscription icon, click on the notification icon, so that you have access to all of our resources as we upload them. So I know you are going to find this video useful, particularly in downloading the detailed syllabus. I want you to share with your friends. I want you to share with your loved ones. If you are here to subscribe right now, go ahead and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Tell your loved ones about it. Share with your relatives. And let's build academic excellence together in students in their examinations. It's Day Tooth Academy. And until next time, God bless you.